The earliest known fossils which have been found in rocks are 3.5 billion years old. These earliest fossils are called stromatolites, which are actually mats of blue-green algae. Modern counterparts of the stromatolites can still be found in Australia today. These rounded formations can also be found in rocks of Silurian origin, such as those which are found in the Silurian limestones of northwestern Ohio. Only during a recent drought, when water levels were at an all-time low, were we able to witness these ancient fossil life forms. Rocks laid down about two billion years ago in Canada, called the Gunflint Chert, reveal several kinds of blue-green algae. But you must use a microscope to see these fossil algae. More complicated colonies of blue-green algae can also be found in the gunflint formation. Modern forms of this blue-green algae grow best in a polluted environment which contains a great deal of ammonia. This probably tells us a great deal about the kind of environment in which these early life forms flourished. From fossil life in the Bitter Springs Formation in Australia, we can see an important leap in the evolution of life. Around 850 million years ago, we began to see a more complicated form of life. We began to see chains of cells operating as a single unit. Each cell contained a nucleus, which was the control center of the cell. Up to this time, the blue-green algae did not have a nucleus. Scientists are very sure that the primitive Earth did not have an atmosphere. While most life forms today need oxygen to live, the primitive blue-green bacteria and algae used energy directly from the sun to make their food by breaking down water and carbon dioxide. They did not use oxygen. However, in their chemical processes, they gave off oxygen as a waste product. Over millions of years, the oxygen levels began to increase and reached a level where life evolved to use oxygen.